What is good, Tesla family? It's your boy Ray J back with another video. And in this video, I'm going to be talking about the one and only Tesla and why I'm still very bullish for the near term and long term futures. I'm going to talk about what happened to the overall market as well, as there is some huge updates that you need to pay attention to. I'm also going to talk about what on earth are the latest updates for Tesla. There's some amazing pieces of news that make me very excited. I'm going to talk about what Elon Musk, the man, the myth, the legend Elon Musk has been tweeting about. He has some huge updates regarding Tesla and the full self driving beta technology that you should really pay attention to. Now, before I do get started on all these big pieces of news and the technical analysis i do have to mention that i'm not a financial legal or taxation expert so don't take this as financial legal or taxation advice everything in this video is solely for entertainment purposes only and also if you guys can please smash that like button if you want to see more videos like this and not only benefits me but benefits the entire tesla community as a whole with all that said and done and out of the way let's get on with the video so looking at tesla it's down 4.14% for the day. However, this has nothing to do with Tesla's fundamentals. This went down with the overall market. So if you look at this article right over here from CNBC, it states that the Dow climbs nearly 200 points, but the Nasdaq falls again as there's a rise in rates that are dividing the market. So what on earth is going on? First off, it was noted that Joe Biden, the president of the United States, has renominated Jerome Powell as the Fed chairman. And to me, I don't necessarily see that as a bad thing however it does state right over here towards the bottom that the benchmark 10-year treasury yield uh, was trading near 1.67 percent on tuesday it went up from 1.57 percent on friday so it did go up about what is that 13 per, or 0.13 percent compared to where it was last friday and Obviously, as it goes up, that can have a negative effect on the overall market, particularly the NASDAQ and many tech stocks. Now, I also want to note something else that happened according to BBC. It states that there was a surge in the thing that happened last year. I'm not going to say the name of it because of the YouTube algorithm. However, it does state that the WHO is worried because of the surge that's going on right now. So obviously, those do affect the overall market. And the overall market did tend to take a beating, particularly tech stocks but for tesla it did drop just a little bit but it does have that support to stop it from crashing too badly now it is down about 4.14 percent i get it but if you zoom out look at the three month chart this thing was actually at 697 dollars three months ago so it still is doing well even though we see some red and we aren't used to seeing tesla in the red this is something that happens but it's nothing to be worried about and here's why if I bring up the one day chart, we start off at 1,180, then we drop to 1,062 and we close at 1,109. Now let's look at this from a Bollinger perspective real quick. You could see that we did touch the lower band a lot of the time, which was significant. But once again, this is a move that Tesla made that was not in Tesla's control. Tesla did not cause this, guys. The, this happened because of external things like yield rates and you know what happened in 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 europe right now that's really what causes it's not tesla's fault we did have a bit of a reversal after we touched 1062 we ran all the way up to 1109 which is not bad and overall i still think it was an okay day it wasn't the worst day but i'm not scared or worried whatsoever because i'm still very very bullish for tesla for the long term and even for the somewhat near term so if i bring up the uh, rsi and the MACD, you guys can see that it's still indicating that we are in a bit of a bullish cycle. It is looking a little bit sideways at the moment, but the MACD is still showing that we could have a lot of upside in the upcoming future because the histograms are still in the green. There is no flip in the, from the MACD in the nine day moving average, which means we could see a big reversal either tomorrow or by next week. Now, I do want to note that the market is going to be closed on Thanksgiving, which is on Thursday. It's also going to be closed for half the day on, I believe it's Friday. So we have a short Friday. Friday and no trading on Thursday. So I wouldn't be surprised if we trade a little bit sideways before having another big recovery next week. I also want to note that the RSI did drop a little bit at 52.55 and it was at like 65, I believe, yesterday. So it's not necessarily bad, but I do want to put it out there that we have a short trading week and the overall market is causing Tesla to trade a tiny bit sideways for this week. But I do think that tomorrow or excuse me, by next week, we're going to have a big recovery. And despite, you know, a day to day or week to week basis, let's just zoom out. I believe that if you give this thing time, it'll easily break two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, five thousand dollars a share in the upcoming years. I'm still very, very bullish despite that. But I'm just putting it out there. Tesla is the future and it still has the same potential. Nothing has changed. I'm very excited. Now, let me talk about other other pieces of news that came out that I want you guys to pay attention to. It says that Tesla na navigation now includes fast end or fastened charging stations, which I think 
will be awesome for Europe. That makes people very, very excited. And that's very exciting for Europeans, especially people in the Netherlands and other countries where fast net charging networks exist. Now, that improves it in terms of its fundamentals, and that will lead to more and more satisfaction for people. That makes me happy and happy for Tesla because people in Europe are basically now going to be able to charge with some of the best infrastructure charging technology out there in Europe. That makes me very, very excited. Now, I want to talk about another piece of news, and it states right over here, according to CNBC, that Tesla will spend at least $1.06 billion on a Tesla Gigafactory, and it hopes to finish it this year. Why is that significant? Because I want to note this right over here, okay? It states that Tesla Cybertruck, it has a backlog of $80 billion worth of cars, absolutely killing it. There's over 1.2 million reservations for the Cybertruck. Now, it states right here, this is one of the reasons why Tesla is pushing to finish the Gigafactory in Texas because this is when they can start production of their one and only Cybertruck and that's going to be absolutely huge. Now, I do want to note that this is important for the fundamentals. Think about what's going to happen to the share price. Think about what's going to happen to their production, their deliveries, their revenue when they start producing the Cybertruck because it's not that they may get sales, it's that they already got the sales. There's a backlog worth 80 billion dollars guys now the media may attack tesla because the production hasn't started yet but I, I kid you guys not i kid you guys not the production should be in 2022 it's going to be awesome and this is going to absolutely crush it 1.2 million cybertruck reservations are already there guys i mean it's so exciting what's going to come out i'm very very excited now another piece of news that came out it's not necessarily anything big but Seeking Alpha is comparing Tesla with Lucid. It states that Lucid is set to surpass Tesla, and obviously I disagree with that claim. Now, I do think that Lucid is an amazing, amazing company. It has insane, insane potential. However, in my opinion, Tesla is not just an electric car company, but it's much, 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 much more than that. It is also a bad resource technology company it's also a software company it's an ai company it's an energy company it's everything in one so even though i do think lucid is going to make huge moves in the future i'm super bullish for lucid i don't necessarily think it's going to surpass tesla in terms of its market cap or anything like that so there are articles like that that, that come out and they try to scare you and they try to get clicks which is what their priority is and once again don't fall for the fud i'm still very bullish for both of these companies but it's particularly tesla i don't see lucid surpassing it i still think tesla has even more potential now anyways i'm going to get on with some elon musk tweets whole mars catalog say that this should help put things into perspective as to how far we've come with the full self-driving beta. It states that this is the full self-driving visualization of the same intersection a year ago versus today. And you guys can see a year ago, it was so simple. Now today, it sees all the cars. It sees all the lanes. It sees what it's supposed to do. It, it's sensing cars that are like, I don't know, does, uh, dozens, if not 100 feet away. I mean, this, this thing is just killing it. And Elon Musk responded. He said that their NNs didn't have any temporal or spatial memory or surrounding video audio labeling back then it's now all knitted together in c plus plus from single frames and but there is still much to improve he also said that high performance code in c is using its own uh, ability to maximize frame rates and anything like that they use python and so on and so forth and then, and then he stated this he said it could stimulate anywhere but we need to focus on one region until the full self-driving beta is or at least the full self-driving is out of its beta mode, then it expands to other countries as well. He stated that Canada is a lot different from the US, or at least it's not a lot different, but different enough. So he's basically talking about the expansion of the full self-driving technology, their improvements and all those good things, because this is not just going to be an American thing. It's going to exist in Canada, in Europe, and all over the world. So Elon Musk is hinting at that, which is a huge update for Tesla. He also stated this right over here, and some people might say that this isn't the best news but it was noted that new full self-driving beta terms everyone has to agree to looks like tesla now makes you agree to turn over footage of exterior and interior cameras in the event of a collision or a safety issue no doing something bad and then trying to blame tesla i support it and look at this right here elon musk basically said exactly size so this is just temporary right now guys it says as of right now they're going to be doing this but i just want to put it out there that there have been a ton of people or at least dozens upon dozens of people that try to cause 
how should I say, chaos, and then they, they try to blame a Tesla for it when it's not the Tesla's fault. And Tesla has cameras to prove that this is going on, which is why it's very important for them to try to be as safe and nonpartisan as possible. And I, I definitely think that this is good for Tesla because people should not be artificially causing trouble and then trying to blame it on Tesla because there are many instances where that happens and Tesla has to do what they can. As of right now, Elon Musk said, yeah, he agrees with it. So that's another big update. Elon Musk also stated this right here. He just stated that the Giga Texas is epic. Once again, huge, huge, huge progress is being made for the Giga factory in Texas. It makes me very excited as well. And finally, he stated this right over here. Someone said that, hey, Vice President Joe Biden and Kamala Harris, did you know that Tesla is the only only major automaker to claim 100% domestic production for all cars it sells in the USA, well above the in industry's uh, roughly 52%. And Elon Musk stated, uh, and all Model S and X production for the world is still done in America, but who's counting? So he's just putting it out there that Tesla is doing a lot and they don't often get the recognition they deserve. And I, I really want to just put it out there that Elon Musk has the right to say this. He isn't necessarily someone that's lying about it. They have all the proof and the numbers out there. And I do wish that Tesla would get a lot more recognition than it gets instead of the criticism. So I'm just putting it out there. I'm very excited for the company. Huge updates in the future looks really bright. So Right now, Tesla's in the red. Sure, even if it's red tomorrow, I don't care if it trades sideways for the rest of the week because tomorrow is just the last uh, full day of trading for the week. Thursday, obviously, the market is closed. Friday's half a day. But remember, next week, I see a green week. I see the upcoming months, the upcoming years, extremely, extremely bullish for this company. Nothing to be too worried about, guys, because when in doubt, just zoom out. If you go back a couple of months, if you go back to October, we were in the 700s. If you go back well before that, we were in the 600s. I mean, it doesn't matter, guys. Tesla is doing really well. It has stronger support at higher levels, and I think this thing is going to crush it. With that said and done, guys, thank you for listening. I'm very excited for the future of Tesla, and I believe in this company. Thank you for listening. Give it the time it needs, and this thing is going to explode. Thank Thank you and peace out.